Er nutzt sich aus. Alles, was er verspricht, sind Lügen. Ich glaube, Sie verwechseln mich. Das habe ich schon mal gesagt. Alles, was Noah sagt, ist eine Lüge. Er ist nicht auserwählt. Du bist nicht auserwählt. Er will die Welt nicht vor dem Bösen retten. Er ist das Böse. Mach nicht dieselben Fehler wie ich. Du musst aufhören. Ah! Es wird alles gut, Mama. Hm. That's very scary. Mhm. Charlotte hat mich nach der Hütte gefragt. Und Helge. Noch ein paar Stunden, dann ist es vorbei. Mats wird leben. Glaubst du dir? Alles, was sie gesagt hat, ist in den letzten acht Tagen passiert. Genauso, wie es hier steht. Und warum sind dann die Hälfte der Seiten rausgerissen? Nach heute ist alles neu. Vor Jahren, ich war noch ein kleiner Junge, kam ein Fremder zu uns. Er sah aus, als wäre er im Krieg gewesen. Hat nicht viel gesprochen. In seinen Augen war diese Traurigkeit, die man manchmal sieht bei denen, die sterben wollen, aber das Leben lässt sie nicht. Aber in einer Nacht, da war er plötzlich ganz klar. Er stand im Flur mit großen Augen und sagte, nichts ist umsonst. Dein Schmerz hat dich gemacht, Helge. Aber er hat keine Macht mehr über dich. Wer ist der Nächste? Jonas Kahnwald. Also ich kann das hier nicht zwischen Tür und Tür entscheiden. Mag mich. Er, er vertraut mir. Ich bin die einzige Person, die überhaupt an sich ran ist. Und ich mag ihn auch. Ich hole jemanden zurück von den Toten. Wie soll das gehen? Oh mein Gott. Das ist sehr kompliziert zu erklären. Kannst du die zurückholen? Nein, du musst sie holen, wenn sie noch jünger sind. Aber dann sind sie doch noch gar nicht tot. Das erinnert aber nichts daran, dass sie einmal sterben werden. She's gonna find the mug shot. Oh shit, you're right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. She she made the leap. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, he's gone. Oh no, he's not. Oh. Wir sind sie. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my god. He knew he was gonna be there. <sighs> what the fuck? Shh. Du brauchst keine Angst zu haben. Hey! Hey! Was soll das? Was ist das hier? Oh, it's a Warum haben sie mich eingesperrt? Das hier ist eine Art Prototyp einer Zeitmaschine. Und du bist das Versuchskaninchen. Die Passage in der Höhle liegt genau unter diesem Bunker. Steht sie offen, läuft die Energie durch diesen Raum. Aber man muss sie verstärken. Lass nimm mich hier raus. Das kann ich nicht. Weil es der einzige Weg ist, dass alles wieder normal wird. Wer sind Sie? Du wirst diesen Brief fast 33 Jahre bei dir tragen, bevor du ihn weitergeben wirst. An dich selbst. He's him! I was right! Holy oh, shit! Ich bin du. Mein Name ist Jonas Kahnwald. Ich habe dir diesen Brief geschickt. Ich habe sogar dieses Gespräch hier schon mal geführt, nur war ich damals auf der anderen Seite. Wir denken, wir sind frei, aber das sind wir nicht. Wir folgen dem immer gleichen Pfad. Wieder und wieder und... Ich habe lange gedacht, das ist verrückt. Ich bin verrückt. Aber ich kann dich nicht herauslassen, weil du dann nicht zu dem wirst, was ich heute bin. Verändere ich jetzt meine Vergangenheit, verändere ich auch meine Gegenwart. 
und dann kann ich dieses Loch nicht ein für alle Mal zerstören. Ich will, dass der ganze kranke Scheiß aufhört! Das willst du immer noch. 33 Jahre später, ich will das immer noch. Aber Mikkel, unser Vater ist nur ein kleiner Teil eines riesigen Geschwürs. But this means he survives. Ja. Yeah. Is that older Helge, maybe? I think you're right. Der ältere Jonas wird das Loch zerstören, aber was er nicht weiß, ist, dass er der Auslöser dafür sein wird, dass es überhaupt existiert. Ein Paradoxon. Er denkt, er sei der Erlöser. Aber Claudia hat ihn belogen. Die meisten Menschen sind nur Bauern auf einem Schachbrett. Jonas, Mikkel, die Kinder, sie alle sind nur unglückselige, aber notwendige Schachzüge. Da draußen gibt es zwei Gruppen, die um die Vorherrschaft über das Reisen durch die Zeit kämpfen. Licht und Schatten. Solange wir in der Zeitschleife sind, müssen wir Wissenden dafür sorgen, dass jeder Schritt genauso getan wird wie zuvor. Deine Großmutter Claudia, die gehört zum Schatten. Vertrau ihr niemals. Und ich denke, er wird alles verändern, dabei ist er nichts als ihre Marionette. Nur wer Geduld hat, wird jemals siegreich sein, Mama. Unsere Zeit wird kommen. Wir werden den Menschen aus seiner Unmündigkeit befreien. Von seinem Schmerz. He's the one that saves him? He's the one that pulls... He, that's how he ends up probably in, 19, in 1986. Oh my god. So Jonas ended up in 1953. Wait. No, he's not. Wait. Did he end up in the future? Claudia's room? That doesn't look good. I know. He's out there with like, without a suit or anything. What? Hello! Hello! Thank you, Jazz. No, don't leave us here. Willkommen in der Zukunft. I want to watch it all. <laughs> I want to binge the next two seasons. God damn it. That was so fucking good. So he lives. With this letter for another 33 years until the gate opens again or and another thing they mentioned was 
what Noah said to Bartosh is to, they're just there to make sure things keep happening the same way over and over. And I'm guessing older Jonas is also playing into that without knowing it. Mm -hmm. Because Claudia lied to him. Noah also said that Claudia on the dark side, is she really? Or is that just him manipulating Bartosh? Right. But if she lied to Jonas, like, is she really dark side or is she not really dark side? Yes. And you were right. It was Jonas. Holy shit. You called it, like, what, half a season ago? Mm -hmm. Half a season ago. Well, yeah, yeah, like a few episodes yeah. ago. Oh, man. This got so confusing. I'm trying to make sense out of it. I don't even know, like, what to talk about because I have so many more questions. Yeah. <laughs> and I was right about older Helge trying to stop younger Helge. Yes. And he, so his did he actually stop him? Well, okay. So temporary? here's here's my question. Know. So okay, hold on. So older Helge goes to the past, basically tries to kill his younger self, but instead he still survives. Yeah. And he kills himself, older one. But since his younger self, middle-aged self, still survives, that means he still gets to age and basically do that again. Not succeed in stopping himself. Yeah. And I wonder what year this was that Jonas landed in. Is it 33 years after 2019? Maybe. So it would be, what, 2052? Possibly 2052. And they said, welcome to the future. Like they knew something. Like they know yeah. people come from other times or they know about the time machine. And who are these people? And why does it look like that in the future? Do you think because the 2019 event is still like yeah, having fallout? I mean, because Chernobyl's like... To this day, it's been how many years? About yeah, but 30 something. In that same years. kind of. Oh, I don't know if there's still I mean? stuff in this. Probably not. But they're still like. It's still affected. So the ashes and stuff wouldn't mm -hmm. really make sense, possibly. Unless this event was worse than Chernobyl. I am so. It's so tangled. I know. It's really, really tangled. And now it's like even more confusing because you don't know if he's going to tangle stuff more <laughs> yeah like <laughs> how much of what Noah said is true right what yeah. does Bartosh has to do, have to do with this now he handed him the notebook I'm guessing he's taking over for Noah or he's just assisting Noah right and now we're putting a whole nother I think he's done with Helge you That's, think so yes maybe oh you're right but it, now we have another time to put into the mix instead of just the three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ulrich is still in the past. Yeah. Charlotte now knows that Ulrich somehow was in the past and was the one that hurt little Helge. Yeah. She is now With Peter. hugging Peter in... The bunker. The bunker room, the cell room that is the prototype, that was the prototype for mm -hmm. a time machine, but it looks like it's it successful. Still works. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. No, it's not really, it doesn't open up in a time machine. It opens up like, it opens up a portal. Yeah. And also, while she was in there with Peter, what did he say to her? Mm -hmm. What does she know now? Mm -hmm. And also, did a portal open? At the same time, while they were in there, while mm -hmm. Helge's and Jonas's portals opened. When they swap. Because they're essentially all in that same room mm -hmm. in different times. Yeah. So I'm guessing Claudia is from this. The future. Yeah. But she would be super old. No, I don't know. right. I think she's 2019 Claudia and ended up in 2052 or whatever year that is. And she's and she's probably living most of her life there, yeah. or spending most of her time mm -hmm. in that time. 
I think I'm mainly just kind of like, but like, okay, I'm just so curious as to what Claudia is doing. Like, why? Me too. What, What's her role? Why? Or her why? purpose? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, Bartosh isn't going to believe her anymore, I mm -hmm. guess. What was Hannah doing with that gun? I don't know. He's like pointing it. Trying to kill Ulrich, but he's not there no more. <laughs> right? I have a I feeling. She, when she grabbed it, I thought yeah. she was going to shoot herself for some reason. Uh, but then she went like this. I thought. Or Jonas maybe. was gonna go hang himself after he talked to his mom. That kind of weird, mm -hmm. like kind of like a goodbye. Everything's gonna be okay in a way. Yeah, I was like, oh shit! And it also made me really sad when older Jonas saw his dad in the tunnel. Like, I know, I, I was so close to cry. Really? <laughs> was like, yeah, me too. I was tearing up a little. But they bit. like switched off from it too soon, so I was like, okay. I yeah, it's because the show doesn't like give you too much time to. Because so there's so in. much there. Yeah. Um, I honestly, I was left with a lot more questions than answers. They did answer a few, though. Okay, uh, which one? The Helge thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Noah not believing in God, which I'm, I don't know if like he actually doesn't believe in God, but it, in a way, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they make made it sound like he doesn't believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. Also, I know there were a few other things that they answered. <laughs> You but know, I don't remember what they are right now. You know what sounded weird to me? When Noah was talking to... Oh, crap. I already forgot. He was talking to someone, and he said something about being in a place, and that someone that didn't talk a lot was saying something. Like they've been in war. When he, was, when he was a kid, someone that mm -hmm. looked like they had been in war talked to him. To him and his friend or something like that. Mm-hmm. That to me, and then they cut to Jonas, and I'm like, that sounds a lot like him. He doesn't say much. Like, right when he was describing the person, and then, like, what he keeps talking, they pictured, they showed Jonas. So, I'm so guessing he's it was probably Jonas. from the future. If he's talking about Jonas, yeah. He, Noah guy is probably from the future. From the future. Remember, and I had he's mentioned a little that? kid, and he's yes, and he's a little kid in the future. Yes. Remember, I had said you, maybe this Noah guy's from like mm -hmm, from the future. Down in the future. Mm -hmm. See that to me, that makes sense. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I have so many questions. And I impatient. Just... I want to know it all, but not really. We have to wait. I yeah. like staying in this like mode, but at I the have same to time, watch this episode. I need to just start from one and then like. Just rewatch it and <laughs> while we wait to film the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, did you catch? I think when when Magnus and Francesca were sitting watching TV, mm -hmm. the TV started like having the Raiders bar commercial. Yeah. Oh right, and they're that in was 2019. Weird. They're in 2019, and, and the TV kind of like everything Holy started. Holy shit! Sense. I did not even catch that. I don't know if that means anything, or if it was just like to show that things times are, are getting mixed, kind of mixing before way. they like resettle. Damn, I didn't even catch that. It just looked normal to me. I'm like, oh, it's a Raider Bar commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't know. Do you think that means something, or do you think it was just to show like? Things got a little glitchy before it, like, kind of I think it was probably just glitchy. Yeah. But that, it, damn. You hmm. pay really good attention. No, you it. were able to, basically, I have to go back. When it comes to when, when Noah's um, talking, uh -huh. I have to, like, sit there and, like, reread what he's saying. Because for some reason, it just doesn't click He to talks me. faster than most of the other characters. I feel like your IQ needs to be, like... <laughs> 500 <laughs> to understand the show completely and now and now it's because people are going to different times and they're like affecting things they're talking to people they're interacting with people they're doing all of these things and it's just cause it's it, everything is like intertwined it, yes. but at the same time they say that they're literally just making sure things happen the same way again right and now Jonas is in the future and I can only imagine 
what young Jonas is going to do in the future if he's going to do something in the future and then kind of leave again and kind of bounce around again um but would it be safe to say that adult Jonas is dead that was like that he died when the portal opened after using the machine in the tunnel mm -hmm. like that moment when he was seeing huh. his dad maybe that would suck he spent his whole life pretty much like you know what I thought it was going to be? his dad being gone. Yeah, I know. That's what made that's me, sad. like, really sad. Because just... Jonas, his life... Was... Just severely affected by this. Everyone else seems, for the most part, to just kind of live their life and not really understand what's going on. Um, but he's, his whole life seems like it's affected by this. Helge, the same thing. Like, mm -hmm. just from being a little kid all the way through this stuff has has haunted them and yeah. like they have to be in it and just and mickle and mickle to an extent mickle okay, yeah. he was but he did at least manage to have a wife and had a family but you're right it was like he was haunted and he ended up taking himself yeah. out so the three people that survived it are the ones that lived through like bullshit their whole life pretty much and then the ones that died they got lucky because they didn't have to live through all the confusion all the mm -hmm. just things that came with going through that stuff i guess yeah it's like they carry the they have to care they are carrying a burden from all of this yeah i'm bummed out why i don't know did you want to watch another episode no because it's uh, like you know I think what? I got too attached to the characters. Yeah. And it's only going to get worse. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what I thought was going to happen? When the thing was going to explode? Mm -hmm. I thought there was going to be like a weird like reset. Yeah. And then Jonas was going to like come out. And it's it was going to be like the same people. But they were going to have, like, different names and, like, different families or, like, different oh, really? dynamics or something. Like, something reset kind of weird. No, I, I didn't know. think so. Especially after <laughs> Noah said that, like, what older Jonas was doing was, like, what's he supposed to be doing? What's supposed to be? So, I kind of figured nothing would change. I don't know how season two is going to go. Me either. Where do they go from here? Right? What are we going to learn about 2052? Or whatever Possibly. year that is. <laughs> that all for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, we can go on forever. Right, yeah. I just need to rewatch it again. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but if you have anything to add, any theories that you had at this point, um, of course, avoid spoilers if you've already seen past this episode. We can't wait to see what you all think. Who was your first season favorite characters and why for me Jonas yeah no you you guys already know Jonas is like our favorite character mm -hmm. and Mikko for me but yeah can't wait to see what you guys have to think uh to say about these characters but yeah um make sure you like our video subscribe to our channel turn on the notifications and we'll see you for season two on Monday thank you bye